Hey guys, welcome back to Comicadden TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different since Easter is tomorrow. I'm filming this on Saturday. Uh, once I'm done, it's going straight up. Uh, I've been thinking about doing this for a while, uh, but I didn't really know how to go about it since our channel is about geek culture. Um, however, yesterday, last night, saw on my buddy Hermes channel, he had uploaded the uh, VHS anniversary collection uh, on his, and his, his his channel is very similar to ours, he, only he does mostly reviews. Uh, that's pretty much all he does is reviews. Uh, in the similar style that I'm going to do here now, um, however, our channel is focused mostly on uh, geek, all things geek culture. You know, you have reviews, you have uh, comic book story retellings, you have comic book superhero history, uh, Voltron, all that other stuff, toy reviews, everything. So I wasn't quite sure how to go about filming this and put, uploading it on to come again since we're mainly a geek culture channel until I saw his video and he did it very well. Which, Hermie, I know you're watching, so uh, you usually do do pretty well, so... With that being said, what we have here, since Easter is tomorrow, the 50th anniversary collection of the Ten Commandments of Cecil D. Uh, Cecil B. DeMille's The Ten Commandments uh, includes the 1956 Academy Award winning classic and the 1923 epic silent film. As you can see here, you got a nice box here very nice uh, it looks like old parchment paper and then you've got this uh, indented lettering 50th anniversary and very shiny and something cool I found this at Walmart I think it was about seven years ago really uh, and I had to have it as tradition in my family we always watch the Ten Commandments on Easter Sunday or whatever day it airs that year. It's usually Easter Sunday. Sometimes it's on Good Friday or on the Saturday in between. Um, but we always watch it. Something I've found is a lot of people wonder, have always wondered why they air the Ten Commandments on Easter. Uh, the Ten Commandments doesn't really have anything to do with Easter. You'd think they'd air something like uh, something that has to do with Jesus or whatever. However, Passover is the major Jewish spring festival that commemorates the liberation of the Israelites from Egyptian slavery lasting seven or eight days from the 15th day of Nisan. And it goes from uh, Friday, March 30th until Saturday, April 7th. So that's why the uh, ABC usually broadcasts the Ten Commandments in that area. So here we have, you open it up, you can see it's a clear window box with Charlton Heston as Moses there. Very nice. And then inside you have several scenes from the movie. You got younger Moses there with uh, Nefertiti. Uh, older Moses there talking to the Israelites, parting the uh, Red Sea. You got Pharaoh. Those. Now, this is a very nice package. I really like it. I think I've only, kind of, for a while, past few years I've kind of gotten out of watching the Ten Commandments every single year but now that I'm an adult have a family of my own my kids don't really know much about this stuff uh, we go to church occasionally but nowhere near what we probably should uh, so I think this would be a really good way of teaching my kids about So we have here disc one, the Ten Commandments. Uh, we got disc two, which I think might be the special features or something. I'm not sure. And then disc three is the 
1923 silent film. Very nice images. And right there you got images from the 1923 silent film there. Turn it around. With its cast of thousands and imaginative use of early special effects, director Cecil B. DeMille's original silent 1923 version of the Ten Commandments is truly one of the greatest epics to come out of the 1920s Hollywood. Its unique storyline moves back and forth in time to show the relevance of its Old Testament morality to contemporary circa 1923 immorality. Complementing DeMille's powerful screen drama is Gaylord Carter's digitally recorded score performed on a magnificent Wurlitzer organ. Over 30 years later, DeMille, now at the pinnacle of his profession via such hits as Samson and Deliah from 1949, The Greatest Show on Earth, 1952, topped the pageantry and excitement of the original silent film with his sweeping 1956 retelling of the Ten Commandments. Filmed in Egypt and the Sine, and featuring one of the biggest sets ever constructed for the motion picture, this star-studded Technicolor extravaganza tells the story of the life of Moses, Charlton Heston, who turned his back on privileged life to lead his people to freedom. This classic screen epic was nominated for seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture in, of 1956. Uh, the Ten Commandments 1956 version special features include commentary by Catherine Orison, author of Written in Stone, making Cecil B. DeMille's epic, The Ten Commandments. Six-part documentary, Moses, The Chosen People, Land of the Pharaohs, The Paramount Lot, The Score, Mr. DeMille, Newsreel, the Ten Commandments premiere in New York, Trailers 1956 Making of, Trailer 1966 Trailer, and the 1989 Trailer. Uh, the Ten Commandments 1923 version special features include commentary by Catherine Orison, author of Written in Stone Making Cecil B. DeMille's Epic, The Ten Commandments, hand-tinted footage of the Exorcist, uh, of the Exodus, and parting of the Red Sea sequence. Uh, Cecil B. DeMille's production, The Ten Commandments, starring Charlton Heston, Yul Brenner, Ann Baxter, Edward G. Robinson, Yvonne DiCarlo, Deborah Pageant, John Derrick, Sir Cedric Hardwick, Nina Falk, Martha Scott, Judith Anderson, Vincent Price, John Carradine, directed by Cecil B. DeMille, written for screen by Annis McKenzie, Jesse L. Lasky Jr., Jack Garras, Frederick M. Frank, based upon the Holy Scriptures and other ancient modern writings produced by Motion Picture Associations Incorporated. There's the uh, side there. Very, very nice. Really like that. Then the other side. Very nice. If you guys don't have this, I do suggest picking it up. It's the 50th anniversary collection. Although this is the DVD set, you guys may want to pick up the Blu-ray if they have it now. So there you go, guys. The 50th anniversary collection of Cecil B. DeMille's The Ten Commandments. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Have a happy Easter. Take care.